Hello dear friends, welcome to the lecture of in Laplace transform and um, we are studying theorems on Laplace transform. Last lecture we have studied Laplace transform of derivative theorem on it. Now in this lecture we shall study Laplace transform of a integral. I have written the theorem number 7 and uh, the theorem states that if Laplace transform of capital F of t is equal to small f of s then Laplace transform of this integral. 0 to t integral 0 to t f of u du is equal to 1 over s into f of s. What is f of s? f of s is Laplace transform of this capital F. So, this is the theorem that we want to prove. Now, the proof is easy. We shall write as Laplace transform of f of t is f of s that is uh, given or we shall assume it. Let L of capital F of t is equal to f of s, small f of s. And let we shall assume this function as g of uh, t. So, let g of t whose uh, transform is to be obtained. We want to find Laplace transform of this integral and this integral we shall assume as a function of t. So, g of t as integral 0 to t f of u du this is g of t. So, why this is function of uh, t because this is integrated with respect to u and then the limit of u are uh, put as t upper limit and lower limit is 0 this is a constant but upper limit is t. So, therefore, finally this becomes a function of t and we have denoted it by g of t. So, uh, we can write what is a g of 0 from this therefore, what is a g of 0 put t is equal to 0 on either side. So, this is integral 0 to 0 t is 0 and uh, this is f of u du and we know that whenever the lower limit and upper limit are equal the integral value is 0 because the after evaluation of the integral we substitute this upper and lower limit and subtract them. So, therefore, this is 0 and also from this uh, see we can assume this as uh, 1 and 2. So, differentiating 2 now we get now so these both sides are function of t we differentiate with respect to t and that is the derivative of this will be g dash of t or g prime t is equal to now, what will be the uh, derivative on this side. See this is integral and we are differentiating. So, integral and derivative are inverse function of each other and therefore, the combination of this or composition of this integration and derivative uh, nullifies and the function remains the same. So, therefore, uh, this is this is f of t f remains derivative of the integral derivative and integral are inverse of each other and therefore, this remains as a this in derivative cancels this integration and this function remains only f and instead of u it will be t because after integration it is becoming function of t. So, this is to be noted. So, differentiating 2 we get g dash of t is equal to f of t. Now, we shall uh, make use of uh, theorem number 6 which is Laplace transform of derivative by theorem 6 which we have studied in our earlier lecture theorem 6 that is a derivative of uh, uh, Laplace transform of derivative. Derivatives we have Laplace transform of g dash of t how to express it as s into g s Laplace transform of g and that I shall write L of g t minus capital G at 0. So, in place of uh, f actually the result we have obtained is L of f dash of t capital F dash of t is equal to s uh, small f s means Laplace transform of uh, f of t and uh, minus capital F of 0 in place of capital F we have written capital G and this is Laplace transform of g dash t. So, what is the g dash of t? g dash of t is f of t. So, this is l of uh, f of t and is equal to s 
and uh, this L of G of T we shall write as it is and minus what is G0? G0 is 0. So we are using the, these earlier uh, results and thus uh, this becomes L of F of T is now what is L of F of T? This is Fs. So this is Fs is equal to S L of G of T the same and uh, this uh, is written by 1 using this c l of f of t is fs and from this we want to take this term on left side or shift this s on this side and uh, interchanging the sides we can write the value of l of g of t l of g of t will be 1 over s into fs dividing both side by s it is 1 by s fs is l of g t and but what is the g g of t is this value see from second that is l of integral 0 to u uh, not uh, u uh, see t it is 0 to t integral 0 to t f of u du this is g of t is equal to 1 by s f of s and this is the result that we wanted to prove. So this follows by 2 using the value of uh, g of t from 2. Uh, see here it is from 2 integral 0 to t f of u d and this proves the result. Now we shall have a problem on it. So it is easy how to See, we are considering the uh, theorem and uh, after proving the theorem, we will have a problem on it to how to use the theorem to obtain Laplace transform. So, I shall write a problem, evaluate, evaluate or find Laplace transform of integral 0 to t, uh, this function I shall consider as 1 minus e power minus 2u or in place of uh, 1 we may write u or 1 can also be written du. Find the Laplace transform of this integral and to find the Laplace transform of this integral we should make use of this uh, theorem. So it is 1 upon s f of s and for that purpose we should have to find out what is fs fs is laplace transform of f of t f of t is this function here f so therefore our function capital f is this one and we will uh, write it in terms of t first so for this we shall write as let let f of t this is actually f of u or, or we can say let f of u is equal to this is u minus e power minus 2u this is f of u and therefore what will be f of t usual notation we shall use so f of t replace u by t so t minus e power minus 2t and we now find laplace transform of f of t so therefore l of f of t is f of s and that is l of d minus e power minus 2t or this will be see this side l of t now we know the laplace transform of t power n is if uh, n is positive integer n factorial divided by s to the power n plus 1 so this will be or after separating we can write l of t minus l of e power minus 2t or this will be power of uh, t is 1 so 1 factorial that is 1 divided by s to the power so 2 n plus 1 so n is 1 n plus 1 is 1 plus 1 which is 2 1 by s square minus and uh, for this also the formula standard uh, functions Laplace transform formula are important we have to remember it 
So this is a formula is L of e power a t is 1 upon s minus a. But see the uh, here the coefficient of t is minus 2 means a is minus 2. So it is 1 upon s minus minus 2 s minus a and that will be s plus 2. So this much is what is we have f s. So this is f of s. Now we refer this as 1. And now uh, we shall use this theorem. So by theorem 7 we have or we may write by Laplace transform of integral we have L of integral 0 to t f of u du is equal to 1 by s into f s and what is the left side L of integral 0 to t f u what is f u is this function u minus e power minus 2u into du. So Laplace transform of this is right side is 1 by s into fs. So this fs is to be divided by s and therefore it becomes 1 upon s cube dividing by s and this also is divided by s means minus 1 upon s into s plus 2. So this is the required transform. So that is what we wanted to uh, find out. Now one problem I shall uh, give you to solve, to solve yourself. So problem for practice. Now we should understand how to use the theorem. Uh, first uh, we have proved the theorem and then we have used, the, uh, used it. Problem for uh, practice I shall say uh, this is find, find Laplace transform of integral 0 to uh, t this uh, may be considered as u cube minus cos 3u du and uh, see the answer for this I shall uh, uh, write as uh, so for u cube u cube it is uh, say the, the transform of uh, this uh, t cube is 3 factorial which is 6 and power is uh, 4 s to the power 5 it will be you should check the answer minus this is s uh, cancels s square plus 9 do the same steps exactly similar steps that we have done take this as f of u then write f of t then find the laplace transform of f of t uh, take the, that as fs and then state the theorem after uh, writing fs state the theorem and either side put the values divide this fs by s we will get the result so please uh, solve this problem yourself so this is about laplace transform of integral the remaining result uh, we will continue in our next lecture thank you